Hello, Colby Sharp here, fifth grade teacher. Uh, excited today to open up some book mail like we do every week here on my channel. Uh, this is, I think, Kid Fit book mail episode 31. Holy smokes. And if you look behind me, you can see episode 30 is still sitting in boxes because it's been pretty wild around here. And uh, we need to get a little bit caught up here with the book organization, but we're going to dip into some new books. Hopefully we find something awesome. A lot of people ask, where did I get all these books? Who sent me all these books? Why do they send me all these books? Uh, publishers, authors, friends, uh, because I talk about books here on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook, all the places, even a little TikTok here and there, but my students found me there. It's probably not as much there anymore because that's weird. So that's why, because I talk about books a lot and they just send them because they think you'll watch them and then you'll want to buy some of these books. So we'll see. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Let's see what we get today. Hopefully something awesome. Honestly, Elliot. All right. Highly acclaimed author of Caterpillar Summer. Look at that. Probably want to read that, don't you? There you go. Honestly, Elliot. Looks like Elliot's got a little pie there. Makes me a little hungry for a long day of teaching fifth graders. Okay. Let's see what we have here. I guess I should make sure that these are all to me. Maybe someone else in my family got a package that wasn't book related. Nope, books, HarperCollins. Let's go. Let's see what we got. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, this looks fun. Messy Roots, a graphic memoir of a Wuhanese American by Laura Gao, I think is how you maybe say it. A tour de force. Sorry, dealing with the hot water heater now that we're getting a little colder here in Michigan. A tour de force of graphic memoir storytelling about growing up queer Chinese American immigrant in Texas. There you go, let's look inside. Give you a little peek inside here, this young adult graphic novel memoir. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Alias Anna, the true story of outwitting the Nazis. Susan Hood, Lifeboat 12, awesome historical fiction novel and verse. Is this a novel verse? It is. Definitely going to read that one. Comes out March 2022. Anybody here seen Frenchie? Leslie O'Connor. Automatic read that Leslie O'Connor. We're going to read this book because she wrote it and we love her books. So automatically going on the to read pile. February 2022. Still got some 2021 reading to do. But as soon as we dig into 2022, this is going to be one that I read. 11-year-old Aurora Petra Quinn's best friend has never spoken a word to her. In fact, Frenchie Livernois doesn't talk. Can't wait to read it. One True Loves. Dang, what a great cover. From the author of Happily Ever After comes another irresistible romantic comedy full of self-discovery, black love, and a dreamy European cruise. Ah, cruise. Not really a cru Ooh, cruise fan, but it's interesting to think about things like that coming back. A Song Called Home. That cover is just calling my name. February 2022 as well. Yeah, definitely going to read this. Dang, y'all. To read pile I'm growing. I'm going to have to make a video here of 2022 books that I'm super excited to read because I'm starting to get some of those in the mail. And there's it's going to be it's going to be a year from middle grade. All right. Here we have some stuff from Candlewick. The Lucky Ones, Linda Williams Jackson. Look at this cover. The cover game is strong today. This is April of 2022. Holy smokes. Dang, the Lucky Ones. It's 1967 and 11 year old Ellis Earl Brown has big dreams. He's gonna grow up to be a teacher, a lawyer, or both and live in a big sturdy house in town. Looks great. Healer and Witch, ooh, In inviting cover there. The witch over the shoulder. Can a gifted, can a girl gifted with magic learn to manage her powers and calm her strength without violence? Gosh, I hope so. <gasps> Meant to be, I believe that this is a companion book. I'm not 100% sure, I believe that this is a companion book to Joe Knowles' Where the Heart Is, which I loved. Might need to go back and reread it, it's been a few. And look at the length. Look at the beautiful 210 pages. Oh, it's dreamy. March 2022. 2022, y'all. Kicking butt already. 
Harper Collins here. Mercify. Nothing burns as bright as you, Ashley Woodfolk. Look at that cover. Good night. If you have an adult novel to add to your to read list. All right, looks like we have some picture books coming next. A little thinner packages. Aaron Slater, illustrator. You know all these books, right? You know these New York Times bestsellers. Have a twist. Scientist, all those. Look at that, looks great. What do we got on the inside? What do we got on the inside? It's fun. When does this one come out? Let's see here. Maybe this says this little piece of paper. Uh, maybe, maybe. We don't see it. Super fun. Okay, what's up next? Six minutes here. Try to keep these not too long. Ooh, I've been wanting to read this one. Born on the Water, the 1619 Project. I've been really wanting to read this book since I saw the cover drop many moons ago. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, especially like one interior. So it looks like it like follows from like before people were enslaved through let's see here. And I saw like a later chapter. Looks like they're there on the slave ship, getting off of the slave ship. And then into the tobacco fields. And yeah, I'm gonna sit down and spend some time with this one. 1619 Project. I think it's out soon, if not already. Got a letter here from Renee Watson. Let's read that too. Wow. Whew. All right, let's see what we got next. Whew. Get that stack here. Ruffles and the red, red coat. Just fun to say. Ruffles. Looks beautiful. Gives me a little Geisel feel. I mean, I just have to read it, but nice. Can't wait to read more. Okay. Soul Food Sunday. Look at this cover. She want to read it, right? Abrams, beautiful. Ugh. Ugh. Some days, a tale of love, ice cream, and mom's chronic illness. Oh, hmm. Wyatt's mom, Rosie, has MS, but nothing can stop their adventures big and small. That's, yeah, I gotta read that one, too. A lot of reading to do, folks. Oh. Looks like we got a book from Eerdman's here. They always have these super fun books that they translate a lot of times into English from other languages. And you just find some real gems in these books. Kind of scared of snakes, kind of scared of snakes. Okay, a few boxes left here. Ugh. One Million Oysters on Top of the Mountains, another Eerdman's book. I mean, just what a, just like who wouldn't want to learn about One Million Oysters on Top of mountain, the Mountain? Science. All right, just a few more packages. Oh. For every little thing, poems and prayers to celebrate the day. Another Eerdman's book. For every little thing. Oh, that's just like my real mail right there. NEA Today, National Educators Association. Let's go. Ugh. 
one. Only Margaret. The story of Margaret Wise Brown. Okay. A book about someone who makes books. I'm sure it's great. Okay, what are we going to do? This one was mailed to Colby Sharp at the Yarn Podcast. That's fancy. Help mom work from home. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, I love the R. Look at that. Shout out to all the people working from home this last couple of Oh my gosh, this is fancy. This is so fun. I can't wait to read. Look at the kids' slippers. I love that detail. Okay, what do we have here? This is heavy. Heavy, heavy little package. Two more packages, both from HarperCollins. Let's see what we got here. We got clean up some mess. Let me turn the hot water here back on. There will be cold showers soon. My pile, my mountain. Okay, what do we got here? Wind Riders Search for the Scarlet Macaws. I like the little size of this. Okay, check it out. But like, look inside. A novel. I just I saw a page and I thought it was really beautiful. I just randomly opened it. So I can find it. Yeah. Ah, since this book two, maybe? Is there a book one? Well, obviously. This is book two. There's a book one. Wind Riders. I mean, you need to check that out. Book one. Helping Hospital, a community helpers book. Welcome to the Helping Hospital. Everybody in the red brick building, Oge Mora, who is definitely top five illustrator for me. Pumped to read that. One more box. Let's see what we have in here. Put my little pocket knife down. Open this up. I'm gonna finish things strong. I'm sure of it. The book's back in this box. All right, this I don't know who this is, this book, and all I see is the back, so I'm guessing that this is someone famous. Look at this. Grand Jeet Chate and Me, written by Al Allegra Kent, who is someone in the New York City Ballet. I'm guessing that's her. There you go. Crowbar, the smartest bird in the world. I wonder if the second smartest bird in the world is. I have some birds in the flock here. Oh, it's Wind Riders Book One! It's two copies of Wind Riders Book One. Now I can really read it because after seeing Wind Riders Book Two, I really wanted to read this. So I probably should open that package first. Anyways, that's exciting. Rescue on Turtle Beach. Take those in and see what the kids think of this. Keeping it real. Beautiful cover. Young adult. The color of dragons. Magic is born. That looks very intense. Faceless by Catherine Lasky, new Barry Honor winning author. Is this like a young adult book or like a middle school book, middle grade? It says ages eight to 12. Hmm. Very, very, very intriguing cover. All right, the circus at the end of the sea, where the sea ends, the magic begins. Well, that's nice. Lori Snyder. Circus. Circuses are living, living in books. The circus lives. 54 Things Wrong with Gwendolyn Rogers. Number one, too demanding. 24, spacey. Too picky eater. 34, often late. 38, disorganized. Jeez, that's a lot of things. Come on, Gwendolyn. And finally, we end with Matt Phelan's Sweater Weather. <gasps> and it's becoming sweater weather here in Michigan. So those are the books that I got in the mail this week. Let me know if any of them sounded intriguing, interesting, amazing to you. Check them out. Read them. Buy them from your local bookstore. Check them out from the library. Let me know if the kids like them. Thanks again for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.